What makes the Truman special is that it specializes in public service. Kaylin Taylor is a senior studying soil and crop sciences and organic agriculture, and she's also one of 201 finalists nationally for the Harry S. Truman Scholarship, a $30,000 award that recognizes students for exceptional leadership potential. And she has plenty of leadership. Kaylin currently works at the USDA through work study. We're doing soil analysis and stuff for farmers to um, kind of guide them or give them direction in fertilizer and cover crops and water requirements. Kaylin's already proved her leadership through hard work and dedication. The Truman Scholarship is rigorous as it requires three letters of recommendation, extensive hours of community service or student government, a high GPA of course, and anyone who could use $30,000, which is about all of us. These requirements are just the beginning. To be a finalist, you must first get nominated by a CSU rep. Next, your application goes through a seven-person panel at CSU who has to pass it. You then represent CSU at a national competition where this year there was over 800 applicants, which was cut down to 200. After that, regional finalists from five states from around Colorado were interviewed by panelists down in Denver asking tough questions such as where they see themselves in the next 10 years. Kaylin keeps making the cut, and she had some ending wisdom to those future applicants. The questions that are asked on there, like I said, they're asking you to look at where you want to be in 10 years, you know, seven years after your graduate program, and it seems really overwhelming, or it seems really easy just to kind of like be like, oh yeah, whatever, like I'll probably be doing this or doing that, but my advice would be to like seriously meditate on those questions and think about them very, very deeply because it's kind of amazing what comes out.